Hey y'all. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is the glitter marble um, water slide. So you got glitter down here and water slide up here. I call this the cheat method. It looks really pretty. If you can't do marbling or you haven't got it down pat, it's not a big deal. You can find a, any image on water um, Google and you can print it off as a water slide and you can make a beautiful cup like this. So what you're going to start out with is you're going to start out with a stainless steel tumbler. This is a 20 skinny. You always, always, always want to prep your cups. Um, I know a lot of people say... Um, I don't prep my cups, nothing's happened. It's a personal preference. For me, I am always going to prep my cups. I'm going to start with a um, 120 grit sandpaper and I am just going to sand the cup. And for those of y'all that don't like that sound, I apologize. You want to sand it really, really good. This is going to get all the fingerprints, oils, anything like that from handling, shipping, whatever. It's going to get your cup and you're going to have a, a really good surface to work with. Normally after I sand my cups, I wash them with Dawn dish soap and warm water. But since I'm in the office and I can't do that, I'm going to spray it with 91% alcohol. And I'm just going to wipe it down really, really good. Alcohol dries really, really fast. So after this step, you're going to move to spray paint. You want to prep your cup, prime your cup, and get it ready for glitter application. Now, after you've done this, you want to take it outside and you want to um, spray paint it white. I use white primer. Um, I use the Rust-Oleum 2X white primer. I've noticed that with this, uh, I don't have a lot of runs. Actually, I don't have any runs on my cup. Um, and it dries really, really fast. So after you've sanded and cleaned your cup, Take it outside, take it to your spray paint booth, however you spray paint your cups, and coat it with this. You only need one coat. Okay, so after you have spray painted your cup, it's dry. I usually let mine dry for about an hour, um, and then you are ready for the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to be using um, Mod Podge. Uh, I use the Mod Podge in the orange. It does not matter which Mod Podge you use. Um, this is the one that I use. We will have to do um, a couple of coats just because I'm using a dark blue and this is on a white base. So the blue is going to show through. The white, you should only need one coat. Um, so I have my Mod Podge. I have my brush that I'm going to use, which is this brush. Um, I get this from Walmart. It's just a one inch brush. Um, no, I'm sorry, one and a half inch brush. Uh, it's pretty square at the top and that's what you want. You want uh, one fourth of an inch tape because we are going to tape off the bottom. Um, I use my measuring cups to help me get a straight line. You are going to need um, a pencil and whatever glitter you choose to use. So I am using um, wet, uh, crude juice from Mr. Nola's glitter and I'm using um, this blue from Charlie Rose Creations. Uh, that the blue is going to go on the bottom, the white is going to go on the top because that's where we're going to place our water slide. I 
All right, guys. So once you have your cup spray painted white, um, I use primer, the Rust-Oleum 2X primer. Um, we are going to. This is a little hack that I have. You take your medicine cups because you can stack them, unstack them, whatever. And you're going to put your pencil right up against your cup and you're going to turn it and you're going to make a perfect line that will give you the guideline for your tape. So see, there's our line. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape and you're going to go right on top of the line that you just made. And this is going to be the separator for your dark glitter and your light glitter. So I just push this down really good and we'll put the blue glitter here and the white glitter up top. Alright, so right there I have my um, I have my paper plate that I'm going to pour my Mod Podge on. I have my parchment paper to catch my glitter. I'm using a one and a half inch brush from Walmart. It looks like this. This uh, brush is really good for um, creating those crisp lines and keeping those lines really straight. So I'm just going to pour Mod Podge on the bottom. Mod Podge dries really fast against spray paint or primer. So this go round you have to work pretty quick. You want to make sure that you don't have any streaks. Just take your Mod Podge down. If you've got a good clump, just take it down to the bottom. Pour a little bit of Mod Podge on your plate so your brush doesn't dry out while you're glittering. Move that to the side. And now I'm going to put my blue glitter on the bottom. The blue will require two coats because it's a light color underneath. You could always spray paint the bottom blue and then you would only need one coat. going to tap it. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun so it'll dry pretty quick and we'll be right back. Now that the first coat of blue has dried, we're just going to go ahead and it's okay if you have the blue specks, the water slide's going to hide it. So I'm just dumping Mod Podge on there and we're going to put the second coat of blue. So I'm going to take and put a little bit here and you're going to take your brush and you're going to go right up to the line. Um, the one thing that I forgot to do um, before I come back, I went ahead and pulled my tape before my Mod Podge dried so that my Mod Podge would not stick to the tape because if you let it dry when you go to pull that tape up it's going to pull your glitter up. So I'm just going right up to the edge and swiping down. 
And you can use your heat gun to speed up the process so you don't have to wait as long in between coats. Or you could place it in front of a heater, whatever. I'm going to do the bottom. Give it a good tap. So I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and then we'll come back and we'll apply the white. Alright, so now that our blue has dried, you're going to go ahead and apply the white. With the white, you should only need one coat, unless you see the blue specks peeking out underneath. I'm going to take my brush and brush up right to the line and drag down. I'm not worried about the blue specks that you see because the water slide is going to hide them. And if your line isn't as crisp, it's okay because your vinyl is going to hide that. I'm going to go ahead and dump our white. I'm just going to tap it off to the side because I don't want to mix my blue. If there's any loose blue, I don't want it mixed in with my white. And there you go. So now you'll let this dry for maybe 30 minutes. You can seal it. I would definitely seal this because after this is dry, your next, your next step would be to cover it with epoxy. And then we will move on to... Um, the water slide and retaping it off. All right, guys. So once you have your epoxy over your cup, this is the cup that we glittered, um, and we put our coat of epoxy on it. Now you need to sand it really quick. So I have in here, I have some water and some Dawn dish soap. I'm just gonna spray the cup. And then I'm gonna take my sandpaper. This is called wet sanding. I'm gonna sand over my cup and get all these pieces sticking up really smooth. Now 
You just want to make sure you don't have any rough edges on your bottom or your top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my cup down again to get all the dust off. And I'm going to wipe it down with this towel. You can also do this with Dawn dish soap. I'm just in the office and this is the easiest way for me to do it. Then you're going to take your tape that you used to tape off before, your uh, one-fourth of an inch tape, and you're going to lay it in the middle so where your line meets would be in the middle of the tape. And you're just going to put your tape back in place because this is going to be our guide to cutting our water slide when we go to trim it up. Just like that. So this is just going to be a template. We're going to take this off. So here I have my water slide printed and it's been sealed. I sealed it with Rust-Oleum and then I sealed it with Plasti Dip and then I sealed it with Rust-Oleum and then another coat of Rust-Oleum. The Plasti Dip makes it pliable. I'm just going to take and trim my edge up a little bit. And then over here I've got a pot of or a tub of warm water and that's what we're going to submerge our water slide in. You're going to need a squeegee or something to get the water out and you're going to need a razor blade. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've got a towel down here because it does get messy. So protect your surface, whatever you're working with. I'm just going to take my hand and wet the top of the cup where I want the water slide to go. Then I'm going to take my water slide. I'm going to put the light color up top. We're going to be trimming this off. So I'm just going to submerge my water slide into this water and get it all nice and wet so when we go to apply it on the cup it slides off pretty easy. So it just takes a couple of seconds and you'll see your water slide start to move off of your backing. That's when you know it's ready. So I'm going to wet the cup again. I'm just going to give it a, some help here to release off the back. And the Plasti Dip allows you to have a little more work time. So we're just going to stick it back in here. The thing that I found is easiest is to set my cup beside my bowl. So when I'm sliding, I can let the water slide rest inside. You're just going to lay it evenly on the cup. You're going to have some that overhangs on the top and the bottom, and that's okay. So then I'm going to wet my squeegee and I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to slide the backing out from underneath. And I'm only going to pull a little bit at a time and then I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to get all the air bubbles out. This little thing comes in handy and it's really, really, really good to use on these types of cups. So I'm just going to turn the cup. I'm going to work as I go.
you can see how the Plasti Dip has made the um, water slide. It, it, it's not as delicate when you use the um, Plasti Dip. This helps get the wrinkles out. It helps get the water bubbles out. Any air pockets. And I'm just going to keep sliding and keep swiping. When you get to the end of your water slide, you are going to have some overhang. And that's okay because I'm going to show you how to trim the excess off. And now we're back to where we started. So I'm just going to keep working those bubbles out. And next we're going to trim our water slide. Okay, now that we have our water slide on the cup, I'm just going to take a paper towel. I use the Viva paper towels because they're soft and they don't have any um, designs on them and it just helps with smoothing out the cup. So right here is where our cup meets and you can see the seam but you can put the name over it. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I do is I take my razor blade and I just eyeball it. Um, I'm going to come on the right side of the cup. I know it's backwards for y'all but I'm just going to start at the top of the cup and cut a line straight down. I'm not pressing hard. If you have a really good sharp razor blade, it'll cut right through it. So I'm just going to cut through it and I'm going to peel this piece off. Just like that. And then I'm going to lift this up a little bit. It's just like fabric. You're going to pull the extra right off just like that and then your seam oh, let's tuck that boy right back over there and then your seam is going to be just like that so then what I do is I take and I turn my cup and I use the tape that we laid down as a guideline to guide my razor blade around it so I'm going to start right here where the seam is and I'm just going to cut right on top of that tape line. I'm just spinning my cup. We have these cup cradles on our website. We've changed the design. They're a little bit smaller, but they still hold your bigger cups. So I'm going to pull this excess away and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top. I'm just going to eyeball it because this is a light color. So I'm just going to go right there to the edge of the cup and I'm going to start cutting right at the edge and I'm going to turn my cup. It's a light color at the top so you're not really going to be able to see your cut line and because there's white mixed in it it'll just blend in beautifully. And then I just pull the excess away. like that. So then what I'll do is I'll take my paper towel 
and I'll wet it and I'll just go back over because I see there's a little spot right here and then I'll just take my paper towel and go right back over it and work out any wrinkles any bubbles and then I'll pull my tape and you're gonna have a gap but that's where your vinyl is gonna go so that's where we're sitting at right now once this dries you're gonna put a coat of epoxy on it again I use fast set um, because it'll be dry in two hours and then when I do my final coat I'll use my regular epoxy from counterculture um, but the facet allows you to work faster um, so I usually let my water slides dry for about an hour and then we're ready to move on to the next step all right now that we've got a coat of epoxy on here and it's nice and smooth we are going to take our middle piece the vinyl this is um, chrome vinyl from Vivid and you're just gonna lay it in the center and you're just gonna pull it as you go I smooth it out with my finger as I go all the way around the cup just like that now where our seam is where we the two pieces join together I'm gonna take I created an offset in silhouette of the blue and the gold both are from, are, um, from Vivid Just gonna smooth these out. I'm gonna lay the gold down first and then I'll lay the blue on top of it. And this kind of helps hide the seam a little bit. So we have the gold down right there and then we're going to lay the blue on top of it. And there you go now the next step will be adding the final coat of epoxy um, I will be using um, counterculture their art resin um, and then I'll let it spin for about six hours all right so now I'm gonna mix 20 ml total um, of counterculture this is what the bottle looks like so it looks like this it's just art resin for this cup I'm gonna mix I mix 10 ml of A and 10 ml of B and I'm gonna mix it really good I'm gonna grab a glove And I'm going to apply the epoxy as the turner spins. These turners are available on our website, midlandsvinyl.com. We have anywhere from a small mini turner to an 8-cup turner. 
the motors operate in counterclockwise and clockwise motion. So I'm just mixing this really, really good. I'm going to cut this on and let my cup be spinning. And it's okay if you see air bubbles. I use a torch to get my air bubbles out. I do not use a heat gun. Um, I use a torch. Just a small butane torch. For those of you who don't like to mix your epoxy, we also sell epoxy mixers. Um, we have a single, a deluxe. Um, the single can mix three ounces and the deluxe can mix five ounces. There will also be a link in the description um, for those as well. Alright. So I'm going to put my glove on. And these are silicone stir sticks. Uh, they're really, really easy to clean. You just take a baby wipe or a wet one or whatever when you're done mixing and just wipe the additional resin off and it's good to go for your next use. So I'm just going to start applying this. The wax paper I have underneath will catch any overspill and once it dries you can peel it right off. You don't have to worry about cleaning a mat or anything like that. You just peel it off and then you can reuse it. I use wax paper for everything. My glitter, my epoxy. spin for just a minute and then I'm going to hit it with my torch and that will pop any of the tiny air bubbles. The air bubbles show up really bad on the chrome or the holographic vinyl so hitting it with the torch just a really quick hit with it it will pop all of those little bubbles. So now I'm just going to hit it with the torch, just a quick once over, not staying in one spot too long, just kind of doing a fast sweeping motion. And that's it, walk away. Well guys, this is the Easy Glitter Marble Cup. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the new videos we have coming out. Everything that I've used will be listed in the description below. And happy cupping. Bye, y'all.